What's going on guys, it's my Matt here, and today we're going to be doing a deck profile on dinos. So without further ado, let's get uh, right into it. Let's start off with the main deck. For monsters, uh, we play for the boss monster as uh, Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. This card's pretty freaking broken. Uh, you basically can target one dino on the field and or in your hand. Destroy that target, and then you get to flip all of your opponent's face-up monsters face down. Or, face-up monsters to defense position. Um, and then his other effect is that once per battle phase you can attack all of your opponent's defense monsters. And then burn them for a thousand for each one that he destroys. Uh, which is pretty good. It's... It's uh, definitely a game changer when he gets on the board. A lot of people are like, oh, fuck. <laughs> and it's uh, either like either player's turn, he can activate the effect to blow up one card and then change him on defense, too. So it's pretty stupid. Um, next in the deck, we play Triple Soul Eating Over Raptor. He's basically the main searcher of the deck. Uh, his effect says that when he's normal or special summoned, you can target um, one dino in the deck and either add it to hand and or send it to the grave. And then he has an additional effect, which doesn't really get used as much as his first effect does, but his additional effect is that you can target one uh, dino on the field, destroy it, and then you can special summon a level 4 or lower. Or no, you have to target all 4 or lower dino monster on the field, destroy it, and then you get to special summon a dino from your uh, graveyard and defense position. So, it's like... It's, it's alright, but mainly it's just a search card out. <clears throat> Next card that we play, uh, Triple Baby Sarasaurus. This card's pretty good. Pretty good if you have the field spell out. Um, his effect says that when he's destroyed, you can special summon a um, well, destroyed by card effect. You can special summon level four or lower from uh, from your deck. So either bring out um, Soul Eater and Over Raptor, or a few of the other dinos I have in the deck. Uh, next card that we play, we play two Petite Aranodon. Now, essentially, it's the same exact effect as Baby Sarasaurus, just it's for level 4 or higher. So if it gets destroyed by a card effect, you can special summon out from your deck levels 4 or higher. Monster. Uh, next card that we play, Double Quatlet, or Overtex Quatlus. He has a really nice effect. Um, he says that uh, the first effect is that how it gets special summon. You target five banished uh, dinos, I think. Let's see. Yeah, five banished dinos, and you shuffle them back into the deck, and you can special summon them. And then his other effect is that um, you can target one dino on the field and or in your hands, destroy it, and then you can negate a spell or trap that is like a spell or trap effect. And then his last effect says that if you sent to the graveyard, you can add a evolutionary pill, as in any of them, uh, from your deck to your hand, which is also very nice. Um, next, for a little bit of like protection, we play three Dino Wrestler Pankratops. Or Panker uh, his effect is pretty good. If your opponent has more monsters than you do, you can special summon them out from your hand. And then he has an additional effect, <coughs> additional effect that uh, you can tribute one monster, that's a Dino Wrestler on your side of the field, destroy one card on the other side of the field. So you can target himself, tribute him off to destroy one card. If uh, you have Lost Brawl on the field, there's a token on the field or whatever, and you don't want to go into battle phase yet, you can use his effect to try to blow it up and then activate Lost Brawl's effect, negate the blowing up by setting a well, destroying a Dino in your deck. Um, and then you can go and special summon more stuff, so it's pretty good. Next card we run is uh, Triple Gillosaurus. I find myself not really uh, using this card a lot, but this is actually pretty good if you get it off the bat for like your first hand and you have a uh, Overtex Spotless, or not Overtex Spotless, a uh, Saluting Over After, because then you can go Link off and then you can get Tyranno out of the deck and do a whole bunch of other shit. Link off, banish, get Tyranno on the uh, field first turn. And that's, that's, that's pretty dang, dang good. Um, for my one ofs for the dinos, I play one uh, Miss Sal Ranosaurus. 
or Mississalosaurus, however the hell you say it. Uh, he has a really nice effect. He can be discarded from your hand, and then uh, during that phase, so you can do it during main phase 1, battle phase, and or main phase 2, um, on either player's turn, dinos are unaffected by card effects. And then his other effect is that you can banish him and any other, like, dino monster and special summon, <coughs> special summon a dino from the deck, I believe. Um, yeah, special summon one dino from the deck, uh, whose level equals the amount of dinos that you banished. So you can get basically anything out of the deck as long as you use the correct amount of dinos. Uh, next card that we run is one giant Rex. Giant Rex is just if he gets special, if he gets banished, he gets special summoned back. He can't attack directly, so he's just to uh, attack monsters, and then you can use him for like materials and stuff like that. Uh, last card that I like to play, Tyranno Infinity. I know a lot of people don't like run this, but I find sometimes I'm able to uh, win games and stuff just in case he's like the alternative for a win condition if somehow you run out of all of your uh, ultimate conductor tyrannos and you're somehow even going that long you run into him and you got a bunch of banished monsters you can get up to 6,000 and or more so he's pretty good I mean he has no protection but almost all these dinos in this whole entire deck don't so uh, last um, that's that's it for the dinos and then for other monsters that we run we run uh, three ash blossom and joy spring just to, you know, say, fuck you, you're not drawing anything, and or sending anything from the deck to the grave, you know. It's a very strong and powerful card in this game, so we run it at three. And it's also good because it's a zombie, it's not a dino, so I can use a uh, double evolutionary pill on it if I really need to, to bring out Ultimate Electro Tyranno directly from the deck. Um, next we run two Kaijus. Move these. Run two Kaijus. Uh, we run Dogaran and we run um, Gorelda. I don't have the little like sea turtle one, so I just run the Mystery Dust because he's still weaker. And we run him because if he gets special summoned out, then you can use Lost Bird's effect to get the token, you know. Now on to spells for the deck. Spells for the deck, we run Triple Lost World. Lost World is pretty darn good in this deck. Like I said earlier, if you have a uh, token after it gets generated from normal summoning and or special summoning a dino onto your side of the field, it gives your opponent a token. And then you can use the effect uh, to either attack or try to destroy or do anything to that token. And if you do, then you can use this effect to blow up a dino monster in your uh, deck. And then you can get the effects off of that dino monster that was blown up and also the token still on their side of the field. And the last effect of it is that while your opponent has a token on their side of the field, monsters in your side of the field cannot be targeted by card effects. So, well, I think it's card effects. Um... Do not target, yeah, monsters with card effects. Uh, next spell that we run, Triple Fossil Dig. To try to get any of our uh, dinos that we need and see our dinos as quick as we can. Uh, then we run Double Terraforming just so we can get the Lost World quicker. Next card we run is Double Evolutionary Pill. This says that if you have a dino and a non-dino, we only run four nine dino four cards that are non-dinos in this deck, but that's still enough, um, because even if we play an Ash Blossom, it gets to a grave, this can be activated, and then it targets either mon monsters in the grave and or in your hand, so if you play an Ash Blossom, you say you can't draw or anything, and you have a dino in your hand and or in the grave, and you have an Ash Blossom in the grave, then you can use this, bring out Ultimate Conductor Tyranno like it's nothing, and... Uh, it's pretty nice. Next, we play uh, Two Pot Desire, a neg like 13, <laughs> but um, 
it still really helps. It thins out the deck a lot. And then one thing you have to remember about this is since I do run the um, Tyranno Infinity, you do not get the actual pluses for a thousand attack for each dino that's banished because they're face down so they don't have anything. So you have to put that in memory. But all the other cards, like if Dino or if uh, Ultimate Tyranno banishes cards to bring himself out, then you get the pluses. And or if you use um, Double Evolutionary Pill to banish cards to bring him out, then you also get the pluses for that too. So it's still worthwhile at least running one Tyranno Infinity if you run into him in the beginning of the in the game. And he's still level 4, so you can go into any of your XYZs and or your Link plays with him, so. And then the last card, Monster Reborn. Everyone runs it now because it's at 1, and it's broken as fuck. But, anyways, that's the whole entire deck, except for the extra deck. Main deck is done. Now let's move on to the extra deck. So, for the extra deck... We run, well actually for links, we run uh, one Underclock Taker. Underclock Taker is pretty good in this deck. Uh, you can target your um, Ultimate Conductor, Tyranno. He has 3,500 attack. I don't think there's many cards in the game that even have that that aren't like extremely hard to bring out. Or that are easy enough to bring out to even be worthwhile playing, you know, except for Ultimate, or Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, so... That's why we run one Underclock Taker. Uh, we run one Deco Talker. Just uh, generic Link 3. Gives us a little bit more room to work with. Um, then we run a Summon Sorcerer. Since almost every single card in this deck is Dinos, except for four and the spells, it's uh, pretty, pretty good to run. You can bring out any of your Dinos from the deck and just keep on going with your plays. Uh, next, we run one Topological Bomber Dragon. This doesn't really happen much, but if you do have, say, something that gets buffed someone to that side, and you have uh, one of your little dinos that has the effect that when it's destroyed by a card effect, it gets a special summon out. You use this effect, blow up all cards in the main zone, and then after that effect resolves and they get destroyed, then you get special summon out dinos to your side of the field, so you still have uh, monsters on your side of the field. Uh, next we run one Agrave, or one Agave, uh, Dragon. It's not really, like, a big deal to go into him, but he has, uh, one effect that is actually four dinos, and he's a Link 4. He has kind of weird arrows, but he's still, you know, a hefty 3,000 attack. And I believe... Let's see, which one is the dino? Yeah, and he gains, uh... Dinos for or 200 attack for each dino that's in your grave, so it's a uh, basically another beater. Uh, then for X Y Z's, we run one Greenosaurus. His effect is that you can target one. Uh, now his effect is that when you destroy an opponent's monster, you can detach one and then burn them for an additional a thousand damage. So basically just a very, very shitty version of uh, Ultimate Conductor Tyranno for burning for 1,000. Um, next we run one Elvisaur Delka. This one says when a, a during either player's turn when a uh, monster's effect will be activated, you can attach one, negate the activation if you do destroy that card. He's a 2,300 beater, and you can do it twice, so he's, he's alright. And then we have an Elvisaur Lagia. This dude is actually really good. He's like a... He's like a Solemn... What is it? Solemn Judgment, but without paying life points. And he's a 2,400 beater. Um, it says that when... During Adipar's turn, when a spell, a trap... Um... When a monster would be normal summon or special summon or spell or trap is activated, you can attach two materials. It takes two materials to get them out, but attach two materials, they get the activation and or summon, and if you do destroy that card. So like I said, it's basically like a solemn judgment in dinos without having to actually pay 4,000 life points or whatever you're at at that point in time and then halving it. Um, next we play one uh, Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon. He's just a... Uh, ungodly strong 
person, depending on what you're playing. Playing Blue Eyes, Blue Eyes, none of them are going to be able to even get over him. So, that's pretty good. Um, next card we run is one Tornado Dragon. Just in case those spelling traps, you're like, I don't know if I want to really, you know, attack. They got Mirror Force down or something. And or if they have just anything down and you want to end game because you got it, then just use him. Blow up the Spell Trap, win the game. And last but not least, we run a Babuska. Babuska really is just in here just in case you get run into any problematical monsters that can't be targeted or can't be destroyed by battle or some bullshit. So you can just change the defense, negate their effects, and uh, be done with that bullshit. So hopefully you guys liked this deck profile. I've uh, been working on this deck for quite a while. I actually got a whole bunch of my cards from one of my friends. Well, at least a few of the starter cards for this deck from one of my friends quite a while ago. And then I just started building on it. But anyways, I hope you guys liked it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Mad Matt signing out.